Can you do better in the Furch lineup than a red series? You can. It's called a red deluxe with dual bevels. I'll tell you all about it. Check it out. Hey, you're watching Alamo Music TV. My name is Chris McKee with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you're new to our channel, please make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, like our videos. If you'd like to support the channel, make sure to visit our Teespring store linked below for our custom designed t-shirts. Or you can go to our website and buy this beautiful guitar before I have a chance to take it home. So today, I'm very excited to play for you a guitar I've been waiting on since January. If you can think back to January 2020, the NAMM show, such a more innocent time in our lives in the year 2020, I had a chance to play one of these and was immediately smitten, had it ordered, and it just now has arrived because it's 2020 and there's lots of challenges that many of us are overcoming, including manufacturers. But this Furch is new in the lineup and it basically uh, adds on to the Red series. Now if you're not familiar with Furch or Furk uh, guitars, they are European built. They're made in the Czech Republic um, and they are very finely crafted instruments. Now they make both a vintage line of instruments that are very akin to classic Martins um, and then they also make kind of a more modern series and those series rather than being numbered are organized by color um, like the colors of the rainbow and sitting at the top of that lineup just shy of going to a custom order is the red series and that's what this guitar is part of. Now the red series you've had a variety of different um, Tonewood options that have been available as well as body shapes and other appointments like pickups and you know cutaways and things like that uh, but new is the deluxe series and when they were originally introduced they were actually calling them duo bevel now they're the deluxe series featuring the duo bevel and what what is that well it's it's duo bevels it's two bevels on the guitar the first one of course is something that we are starting to see more and more of in acoustic guitars now, Leo Fender did it with a Strat back in 1954, but it's taken <laughs> up to now for this to really start seeing itself on uh, acoustic guitars. And that is this armrest bevel that exists on the lower side of the bout. And that is basically there for comfort. It looks really cool, but it has a functional purpose to give you comfort on your playing arm. Now, we actually have to give credit in acoustic guitar manufacturing or really building Lutheri to Grit Laskin. And if you're not familiar with Grit Laskin, go do a deep dive on the internet and search him up. He's an amazing builder. His guitars, both from a construction standpoint as well as the inlay that they uh, have, are absolute works of art and he really kind of developed this armrest technique on guitars it's been adopted by many others taylor has been putting it throughout a lot of their line like on their builders edition guitars and what have you but i'm glad to see that you know taylor and now Furch are doing this uh, beyond what you'd find from just the smaller uh, luthier builders, uh, the smaller builders that you might find uh, building guitars, that, that means that more of us can benefit from this building technique. So we've seen this popping up from time to time. The other part you don't see that much on a lot of factory built guitars, and that is the bevel on the back. So you can find other builders that have been doing this. Again, they tend to be very small builders you know, guitar builders that do maybe a few hundred instruments or maybe a few dozen instruments a year. Uh, this isn't something that you see very often on factory-built acoustic guitars. And it is really comfortable. Just like the bevel in the front, the purpose of this is comfort. So that when you put it against your rib cage under your arm, it's very, very comfortable. Again, Leo Fender figured this out with the Stratocaster in 54. It's all about ergonomics and comfort. It allows you to hold the instrument in a more intimate matter, uh, manner because you know the, idea, the ideal instrument situation for any musician, guitar player or otherwise, is for the guitar to kind of disappear, for you to find something that you are so comfortable and in tune with that it's kind of 
gone. It's not in the way, and it's not a big part of the performance. You and it are just performing. Um, and so that's kind of what this is all about. Now, I would be remiss if I didn't tell you about the other fantastic features on this guitar. So it's a red LC. There's also an SR version of this deluxe model. And you can get this with a variety of body shapes, but I prefer this auditorium shape um, for this style of instrument because I tend to play finger style and it's just, just kind of the best of both worlds. The LC is a combination of alpine spruce on the top with beautiful coca bolo on the back and sides. Now alpine spruce, if you're not familiar with it, is a high altitude spruce that grows very slowly, tends to have very straight, tightly, uh, tight grain, um, and it's very similar to Adirondack spruce, which is you know, in a lot of ways considered like the very best spruce from, you know, feel and volume and, and just the sound that you get out of it. Um, Alpine spruce has been used on other orchestral string instruments for hundreds of years. Um, and so it's a great pairing on a flat top acoustic guitar, particularly with Coco Bolo. Coco Bolo, like a really great rosewood, has a lot of low end, a lot of high end, slightly scooped mid-range, a lot of complex overtones, and when paired with Alpine Spruce or even Adirondack Spruce, it's like a cannon of a guitar. You can get a ton of volume out of it, and it's very responsive to you. It's kind of a, a springy, snappy response you get from the top paired with that lusciousness that you get from the Coco Bolo on the back and sides, and, you know, it just it looks killer, doesn't it? So you have these two tone woods framed on this guitar with koa. So you have beautiful flamed koa uh, on the binding and on the bevels. The bridge and the fingerboard are not ebony. They are figured ziracote as well as the um, headstock uh, overlay is as well. And, it, and the neck and the headstock, they're all framed in that beautiful koa. We've got uh, ebony button uh, satin chrome Goto 510 tuners up here on the headstock, and this beautiful Roman numeral inlay on the fingerboard, which is awesome. I just, I don't know, I love that. It's not flashy, it's not overdone, it's just, it's kind of understated, but cool. Roman numerals, yeah. It, it looks great and it's functional, so very awesome guitar. Um, this particular model I ordered specifically without a pickup system. And I want to tell you why. Um, this guitar is what I consider to be quite, quite a special instrument. And when you get to a certain price point, I'm not entirely against having a pickup system. But I do see the, the ideal of wanting to have an instrument where you can purchase it and put your own pickup system in it. And for a guitar like this, I think most players like myself who are gravitating to a guitar like this probably already have an idea in their mind of the pickup system that they like to use. And we can install that for you if you'd like, um, if you end up deciding to purchase a guitar like this. Um, but that's kind of the rationale for me, uh, explaining why it doesn't have a pickup system like the LR Bags Anthem or the Stage Pro version or anything like that. Um, I have personal guitars that are rather expensive acoustic guitars that I've had built. Um, and, you know, it's just kind of a personal preference. So. If you're wondering why this one doesn't have the Stage Pro or anything else, that would be why. Um, all in all, it's just a fantastic instrument. And when paired with the other things that Furch does, like their neck system that ensures the neck is straight and isn't going to move, and the specially tuned, individually tuned top and back and everything, uh, this is a fantastic, fantastic guitar. And though it's factory built, it's coming from a reputable manufacturer who is just building really high-end stuff, and I would put it up against just about any other guitar, factory or otherwise, that's out there on the market. So we'll put our money where the mouth is, so to speak, and I'm going to play this for you so you can hear for yourself what a great pairing this comfortable guitar is. Check it out.
So there you have it, the Furch Red Deluxe with the duo bevels. You know, as I've sat here playing this guitar and talking to you about the guitar, the little details that come out, like the, the extremely clean purfling lines around the bevels on the back as well, how it frames it in, the abalone and koa rosette, the abalone border top. It's, you cannot find any kind of defect with this guitar. It is so impeccably well made and it feels just so fantastic to play and the sound is really phenomenal. This is a phenomenal guitar. If you'd like more information about it, go to our website, it's alamomusic.com. You can find out information about this guitar as well as other Furch guitars that we are carrying. Um, if there's something that you are wanting to have built, I should say this, by the way, we've done some other videos about this builder before, and in their series, they have uh, kind of the, the builder's choice or the master's choice uh, instruments. Any of these series can be ordered with the body shape um, or, or features and appointments that you would like. And there are also custom options through their Rainbow Series, which is basically custom ordered guitars. I say that because you really can get a lot of different options from, from Furch without really spending a lot of money, whether you want a 12 string or a baritone or something like that. Um, and having something that's this high quality, this is not an inexpensive guitar which you'll see if you go to our website at alamomusic.com. But um, there actually is a lot of value here for the features that you're getting, particularly if you compare it to other builders, uh, large or small. So anyways, that being said, if you're interested in Furch, uh, feel free to talk with us. In fact, on our website, you can chat with someone live, ask them all sorts of questions, pick out right guitars, get uh, photos of the guitars we have in stock sent to you, all of that stuff. We want to help you find the right instrument. The whole reason for this channel existing is to help you find the right guitar because at the end of the day, the best guitar in the world is the one that you're making music on. It doesn't matter how many bevels it has on it or otherwise. And so that's why we exist. If you'd like to find out more information about that right guitar, and if you're new to our channel, please make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, like our videos, help us increase that subs subscriber count as of right now. We're trying to shoot for 100,000 subscribers. Hopefully we get that soon. Wouldn't it be great to look back on this video and that was just a drop in the bucket. That's our hope and uh, we appreciate all of you joining with us as part of this community. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Once again, you guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you want to learn more about the guitar, check out Alamo Music. Pat. Hey, everybody. I love guitar videos just like you do. But guess what? Alamo Music Center has another YouTube channel. You can check out all the piano and keyboard reviews that we have and see more of me. Cooper, do we have another one of those? He's fine. Thank <music> you.